I want to tell you a journey that I've had. Um, I have become invested, captivated by one star reviews. Cause like, <laughs> cause this is my thing. Look, if you got one star as a company, you should be closed. <laughs> but I guess legally not enough has happened where somebody had to come close you. So the public is taking it upon themselves to warn each other, hey, this place, no. <laughs>
they have ovens for other things that they make, you know. So having said that, all of the pots have timers. So if you're putting um, chicken pieces in as opposed to just putting in fillets or strips or whatever, the time is different. So you can't take the chicken out when it's undercooked because there's timers on the pots. So the timer goes off, you take it out. Now, possibly somebody put the wrong timer on there for cooking chicken pieces and maybe put like the timer for the strips, that's possible. The fact that you got food poisoning three times, that says to me it's more likely that people were just engaging in unsanitary practices. So maybe there was cross-contamination with some of the other food products. Maybe somebody wasn't washing their hands properly or not wearing gloves. I mean, it could have been any of those things. I think that's far more likely than it being uncooked chicken. Just my personal opinion. Okay, this next one. I had to blur out the name just because I don't want to be a jerk. I mean, I know I'm usually a jerk in some of my videos, but I'm going to not be a jerk today. This guy called Redacted didn't give me my 10 cents change. I am outraged by these circumstances and wish that people know how evil this company is before spending any of their money there. Oh my god. Oh, sir. 10 cents. Come on. <laughs> Rule place. I'd give it zero stars if I can. Watch two customers, one a mother with a toddler, complain about filling a popcorn chicken halfway. Savage ration. <laughs> Girl serving sneered and returned with cups still halfway saying it's what she was told to do. They only gave me two strips instead of three. Okay, well that's probably an honest mistake, but not good. I didn't bother complaining given the savage treatment. <laughs> Atrocious customer service. Worst on the North Shore. That's a scathing one. But I just also want to point out another thing that, yeah, the popcorn, you haven't specified what size popcorn chicken they got. So, I mean, how would we know based on this review what you're even talking about? Was it a snack box? Was it the little mini one? Was it regular? Was it large? What was it? That's an actually an important detail. That's the first thing. And the second thing is we do, I keep doing it. They do have portion cups and they generally vary from size to size depending on what the customer's ordered, whether it's regular or large or mini or the snack box. And you have to use that cup and the cup has to be flat. So you can't have, you know, bits of chicken overflowing because they make you shake it off. And then that's what we're allowed to put in. Now I will say that's not the store's fault. That's not the worker's fault. Whose fault that actually is, is head office who designs these popcorn chicken containers, cardboard boxes, to make it look like the portion sizes are bigger. It's like when you buy a packet of chips and half the chips are air, you know? It's the same thing. So that's really not the fault of that girl who supposedly sneered. Look, I just got accused of sneering in one of my last videos. I don't think people know what a sneer is. Have you seen Harry Potter? Do you know who Malfoy's father is? That's a sneer, okay? not somebody looking slightly displeased or like, whatever. This last one is actually a two star review, but I thought it was pretty funny, so I included it anyway. So here we go. Pretty simple. Don't go there. Chicken tastes like a piece of wood. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> looking up the KFC that I worked at, turns out it's permanently closed. <laughs> I told my mum that place would go downhill as soon as I left and that's obviously exactly what happened. Or it could just be because of this article. Oh, you gotta pay to read this? I'm not paying for this. Also, um, for those of you who might be wondering, when you get a job at KFC, no, they don't actually tell you what the 11 secret herbs and spices are. And pretty much every interaction with our managers when we ask them went something like this. It's a secret. Shut up. Uh, I was actually a manager for a little while as well, the lowest ranking. I was a shift supervisor. 
and it broke my spirit, so I left. But um, I will say that if you're smart enough, oh, should I do this? Am I gonna get in trouble? Fuck it, who cares? If you're smart enough and you work at KFC, if you're in the stock room, if you're getting a delivery, if you're unpacking boxes, if you actually look carefully on the boxes, the ingredients are listed. So if you wanna know what the 11 secret herbs and spices are, read the box. And for anyone who doesn't work at KFC and doesn't ever plan to work there, all I'm gonna tell you is they're not secret, they're not exotic, they're not from Oompa Loompa Land, it's table spices, all of them every single one of them and you've probably got all of them in your spice rack right now <laughs> so thanks for watching if you like this video and you want to see more one star reviews on other stuff then look we'll make it a series bye Oh, we're gonna get to you.